So here we are again. The Pixel 2 XL having more bad press about the screen. Have you seen it? This time it's about screen burning. Not just the blue tint anymore. Apparently it's screen burning after only a day or two or a week from some people. And they're over critical, I think, in my opinion. But is it true? I went to the Verizon store and I found out. Well, at least I found out what I could find out. Now, they're showing some images of a screen burn-in. Whether it's true or not, who really knows? I mean, it, it could be, it could be a, a screenshot from a phone that's a year or two old that they put on there and it's nothing that it's validated by anyone to, to show a real screen burden, but I wanted to find out for myself. So I went back to the Verizon store near me because I don't have my Pixel 2 XL yet. It's supposed to be here any day now, and I'm excited. Um, but the Verizon store is gonna be running theirs 24 seven, and if anybody's gonna have screen burn in, it's gonna be theirs. They've had their unit for about two weeks now, running 24 seven, and so, this video is going to show what I saw. So here's one of the images on the web and you can see at the very bottom, you can see the very faint line across and it's a little lighter white. And you can see the navigation buttons. Here's another angle of it, but it's very, very faint. You can't really see it, but that's the burn-in that they're talking about online. And here's another obvious line. It looks like a YouTube video they were watching. And that is the burn-in that they're claiming is on the Google Pixel 2 XL. So at the Verizon store, I downloaded a all gray background and I put the screen brightness all the way up and all the way down. So right now, obviously, you can see it's all the way down. Very hard to see. And I hope you can see it. There's a lot of reflection there and I'm filming it on my iPhone 7. One other reason why I can't wait to get the new Pixel 2 XL, but here is with the screen brightness all the way up and I looked at all the different corners and angles of the phone and there's no burn-in. And this is a device that is not even a retail device. It's a pre-release. Here's a all white screen of the same phone. It's pre-release. It's a demo version at the Verizon store and on all white, brightness up and down all the way, I don't see any screen burn-in. These devices are ran 24-7, everything seems fine. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think that there's gonna be an issue, but we do have 14 days from whenever we receive it to make our decision. I'm gonna stick with it and hopefully it works out. Just can't beat that software running vanilla Android. And you can see the angle there. I'm turning as you can see the, the slight blue. So when it's dead on, when you're looking at it like you normally do when you use your phone, there's no so issues. Yes, for me, I'm gonna keep the phone most likely unless my device does show that burn in, but I really prefer the, the vanilla Android. I don't like the skins on top. I don't like TouchWiz. I don't like LG's version on top, the, the layers. And I, I just like to have it running as smoothly as possible, as long as possible. And the Pixel is gonna be giving me the best opportunity for that. So I'm hoping that there's not gonna be any issues. I'm crossing my fingers. Please, Google, please don't let there be any issues. If there's something that could be fixed with the software update, I hope they do that. As for any hardware issues, I hope they either do a mass recall or do something to fix the issues for us customers, whether we have the phones or in the future for people who buy it. But so far from what I've seen, I went to two different Verizon stores, two different ones and both of their models seem perfectly fine to me. And these are stores that run it all the time. So I, I don't know, I'm not calling anyone, any of these reviewers a liar at all by any means, but it's not really validated. And I know that there's like two or three at least that I've seen who say that there's screen burning on their devices. I don't know if those are retail devices or if those were the pre-production, the ones that they can just play around with before they give their review, just as an assessment, but they may have a screenshot of another phone and put it on there and just to give the Pixel a bad review. I don't know, I'm not, again, I'm not claiming that's what they're doing. I hope that's not what they're doing. 
It, it probably is legit, maybe it's legit. I just didn't see it in the two phones that I looked at. And so I'm hoping that it's just a fluke with, if it happened to be validated for them, I just hope it's a fluke. It's not something that's gonna be common. If it is common, hopefully Google will rectify it and we won't have that bad of experience. But for normal everyday use, ultimately, like for, for me, you know, I, I'm not gonna ever have the phone brightness all the way down and a gray, all gray background image on there to really notice that. And so I think it's gonna be fine. Pretty much on all, on all screens, the navigation bar is there. And so it's gonna be something where you're using it and you don't really notice it as much for everyday use. If somebody is that critical about it, then you know, they can just change phones. But uh, you know, again, hopefully Google will, will fix this if it is a legit issue. And if it's something where it's not, then we're gonna be fine and not have to worry about it. But I think overall that a lot of this is blown out of proportion because they want something to talk about. And it gives them an opportunity to talk about it, whether it's legit or not, it's fun. So make your own decision, get your phone, don't worry about it, test it out, you have 14 days. And some of these people are claiming that, that it's, uh, well, two of these people are claiming it's burning in within the first few days. So you'll know. And if you find out that it's not for you, send it back and get a different device. If you found value in my video, please like, share it with people who you know will also find value and subscribe so that you can find out whenever I upload new videos. Thanks a lot, have an awesome day.